I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can install and use a module in DNN. And after that, you can hide it even from admin users. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit better exactly what I want to achieve here. First thing is that in our DNN 601 website here, I'm going to log into the backend as super user and I do need super user to do what I'm about to do. So let's go super user here. I'm going to log in. Now here's a simple example. If I have a look at the modules installed in this site under the modules uh, option in the control panel, I will see a module called uh, actually, let me go to all categories. A module called, uh, let me see. Okay, this this guy here. This is this is an example of a module that I have that I had that I have that particular need. This is uh, a new URL rewriter module. This module should only be used once in the entire site. So you just create a page, put this module on, and do the setup that you need to get done. So I'm not going to go in details about this module, but again, create a page, put it there and it will do the URL rewriting for you. Now, just imagine this. If we leave this module open here under the module categories, under, under the module dropdown, somebody else that has uh, admin access to the site could just plug this module in a page and start to mess things up. You know, I don't even know what will happen if I try to use two instances of this module. I mean, I don't even know and I don't care to know about that. I just care that I want this module just once in the website for, for the reason that I think it's dangerous to leave it there so somebody else can play around with that. So again, just add it once. Now, you may have other needs. You may just want to, I don't know, allow the, uh, the admin user to use a module once and that's it and you want to hide it but again in this particular example i want to plug this module in a page and i want it to disappear from the module drop down for good you know i wanted to add and gun so here's what i'm gonna do i'm going to add a page to this website pages add so this will be URL rewrite page. And again, I'm not going to go into partic the particulars of this module. Actually, there's a video about this module. I'm just going to use it as an example of a module that I want to hide. I don't want to include this page in the menu. And yeah, so in terms of permissions, yeah, I'll just leave it as is. So let's add this page. Now, page was added. I'm going to add that module. Under modules, all categories, let's select it right here and let's add it to this page. Okay, so the module is added. I'm not gonna set up this module. I'm just gonna do that now. Now, module is in place. Now I'm gonna hide it from the drop down list. So, again, even though it's news, I can hide that module from, from a drop down list if I want now. Again, I have to have host level access to be able to do that. So I'm gonna, I will be hiding this module for everybody that uh, does not have super user access. Okay. So how can you do that? We just go to host extensions. And now we will go to that particular module which is down here. Here's the module. I'm going to edit this module. And I'm going to unassign this module to my portal. So my website is the name of this portal. This DNN instance has only one portal. So that's the reason why we can only see one assigned portal here. So I have selected the portal. I'm going to unassign this module you are a rewriter from this portal now we don't need to, you don't need to worry about the 
a copy of this module that is already in place in that page. It will stay there because you have already added it. But again, by unassigning this module from this portal, it will no longer show up in the drop-down list. And if you want to go one step beyond that, you may want to set this module as a premium module. So any new portals afterwards will not bring this module in the drop-down list by default. But again, our objective here is just to remove it from the module drop-down from this portal. And that's what we just did. We unassigned micro portal to this module. So this module is no longer present in the module drop-down list. Let's just click update extension. Now I can close this. And if I go back to, again, to any page in my site, if I go to the module option in the control panel, if I select all categories, that particular module should not be in this list anymore. So it's not here anymore. You see, it was it started with a T or something like that. It's not here anymore, it's no longer here. But if I go to have a look at all my pages in this site, I will still be able to go to my URL right page. I'm going to go there, view page. And the module is still here. So again, even though we have removed the module from the module dropdown list, but the instances, the places, the pages that I have placed that module before, they, they, they are still there. So again, the module can still be used. And now we have minimized, even though the module is still in a page and it's accessible by admin, but we have definitely minimized the chance of that admin. Maybe that admin is your end client, your end customer, who knows? But we have minimized the chance of, of that user to do something wrong with this module, okay? Again, so this is a quick overview of how you can, from one side, add a module to your portal, use the module, but from the other side, after you have used it, you can hide it from admin level downwards, okay? Thank you very much and bye for now.